Yeah, yeah boss. You're bossy, you're bossy. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Don't forget to slap a like on this video and comment. And it is good to see little Boosie out here stacking his bread after facing almost losing his life in prison. <laughs> it's going down tonight, KOD, KGX, Showtime. Just brought the back in. I already know it is. Yeah, man, we got these motherfucking ice and hot here. Yeah. Come see me, gang. Yeah, boss. You're bossy, you're bossy. Ooh! <laughs> ain't about nothing. Getting bad, you ain't about nothing. <laughs> Eat me some good breakfast this morning. Ratchet living, ratchet. Nigga getting money. Boy, I fuck a lot of hoes. I'm getting rich. You getting mad. No, oh, Ratchet, I got me a gold spoon done by my jeweler. I be clean, but I eat my sugar smack with. <laughs> water, water, water. Keep them big. Bitch, I count a lot. Shout out to everybody, the All Star Gang, all my rap dudes, all my bad bitches. I decided to say down south where I run shit. Because the Louisiana jail system wanted to keep him there and keep him off the streets. They just had it out for Boosie. And Boosie is like the preacher for the hood. He, he speaks to the hood. He can go to any hood anywhere, any state sell out a concert. I've seen it with my own two eyes. This guy speaks for the hood. Even though I'm not hood, I understand the hood. And he speaks for the hood. As we all know, in 2008, he was arrested because they found marijuana and a gun in his car. Then he pled guilty. He got two years. But while on probation, he went to go do a show. They said he violated his probation. They gave him two more years. So then... While he was locked up, they got more charges on him for drugs. And then he was facing eight years uh, after pleading guilty to drug charges in jail. And then in 2012, uh, he beat a murder charge that they put on him just a year before that. It, it's, it's crazy. They put so many charges on him. They were trying to keep him in jail. He just kept accumulating charges while he was in prison. Luckily, he beat it. And then... In 2013, he was his lawyers were able to argue that the drug ring charges were set up, and there was like an informant that you know offered to provide codeine syrup. It was a whole setup. They were trying to the the jail system and the police were trying to set him up and keep him in jail because he is such a, a influential figure in the hood and and he realized when he got out that he had to get out of the hood because that's where the most hate is not only just from people just jealous of what you got from the police and that's the most dangerous because they're the biggest gang out here they do whatever they want and, and, and you know i've been a victim of it too they just do whatever they want to you and they lock you up no questions asked you got to fight it later and it costs anyways it's great to see him out here making money buying big whips, selling out shows, entertaining the people. He's an inspiration for a lot of people in the hood to get out and, and see that there is a way out and it's possible. And we need people like Boosie to inspire these kids. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you click a like on the video. Let's aim for 10 likes on this video.